Systems Software and Compilers, 18 CS61, presented by Karthik K. Kulkarni, USN 1VE 20CS059 from CSE60. Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss how to generate object code and object program for the given SIC slash XE source program. Here, we have a program and we have the mnemonic codes for the op codes. In SIC slash XE, we have four type of instruction format, type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Type 1 has one byte of size, type 2 has two bytes of size, type 3 has three bytes, type 4 has four. Initial value of the location counter is set to zero because of the apparent zero. Next, we have clearx. ClearX is a type 2 instruction format. So, we add 2 to the initial location counter value. We get 2 as the location counter value here. Next, we have LDA hash 0. Hash 0 represents type 3 instruction format. So, we add plus 3 to the previously obtained location counter value. Now, we have 5 as the location counter value. Next, we have plus LDB hash total. Plus represent type 4 instruction format. So plus 4 is added. But below we have base. Base is an assembly directive. So nothing is added in the base column. Next we have X. It doesn't contain any register value. So it's not type 2 instruction. Or it doesn't have any plus. So it's not a type 4 instruction. So it's a type 3 instruction. So we add 3. We obtain C as the location counter value. Here we have a type 3 instruction. So we add 3. So we get f as the location counter value. Next, again this is a type 3 instruction. So we add 3. We obtain 1, 2 as the location counter value. Again, we have type 3 instruction. So we add 3 to it. So we obtain 1, 5 as the location counter value. Again, we have a type 3 instruction. So we add 3 to the location counter. We obtain 1, 8 as the location counter value. Here, we reserve words. One word is equal to three bytes. So, we add three bytes to the location counter value. We obtain 1B as the location counter value. Next, we reserve 2000 words. That is equal to 6000 bytes. That 6000 bytes converted into hexadecimal value is 1770. 1770 plus we add the previous location counter value. We obtain 178B as the location counter value. Here, again we reserve one word. One word is equal to three bytes. So we add three to the previous location counter value. We obtain 178E as the final location counter value. At first, we have clearx instruction. It is a type 2 instruction format. In type 2 instruction, opcode consists of 8 bits, R1 register has 4 bits and R2 has 4 bits. Here, the clear mnemonic value is B4. The R1 is X. So, the X mnemonic value is 1 and R2 is 0. The object code is B410. Next we have LDA has 0. LDA has 0 is a type 3 instruction format. In a type 3 instruction format, opcode consists of 8 bits, NIXBP each consists of 1 bit and 12 bit displacement. N represents indirect addressing mode, I represents in immediate addressing mode, X represents index addressing mode, B represents base relative addressing mode, P represents program counter addressing mode and E value if it is 0, it is a type 3 instruction format and if the E value is 1, it is a type 4 addressing format. Here, the LDA mnemonic value is 0. So, opcode consists of 0. Here, I is set to 1 because it is an immediate addressing mode and there is no displacement as it is an immediate addressing mode. So, the object code is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Next, we have plus LDB hash total. It is a type 4 instruction format. In type 4 instruction format, we have 20 bit address. So, the total address is 178B and the I is set to 1 because it is an immediate addressing mode. The LDB mnemonic value is 68. The 6 most significant value is taken to opcode. So, the object code is 6910178B. Next, we have add table comma X. It is a type 3 instruction format. For opcode, we take adds mnemonic value 18, the most significant bits. And for NIXBPE, here it's an index addressing mode as there is a comma X. 
and for index addressing mode the n and i values are also considered one to check base relative and program counter we consider displacement the value of table is 001b and the value of program counter is 000c so the displacement value is 00f the value of e is set to 0 because it's a type 3 instruction format so object code is 1ba00f next we have tix count 0 it is a type 3 instruction format the TIX mnemonic value is taken for the opcode. The significant bits are taken in the opcode. It is not an immediate addressing mode, not an indirect addressing mode. So the NI, N and I values are taken as 1. There is no comma, therefore the index is taken as 0. To check the base and program counter addressing modes, we take displacement. The value of count in the table is 0018 and the program counter is 000F. So the displacement value is 9. It lies between minus 2048 to 2047. So the program counter is set to 1. It's a type 3 instruction format. So the E is value is set to 0. The opcode is object code is 2F2009. Next we have JLT loop. It's a type 3 instruction format. The JLT pneumatic value is 36. The most significant values are taken for opcode. The N and I values are set to 1 because it's not an immediate addressing mode and neither an indirect addressing mode. The X value is set to 0 because there is no comma. To check the base relative and program counter values, we check displacement. We get displacement in loop is minus 0009 and program counter is 0012. We obtain minus 9 as the value. We take minus 9 stoops complement, we obtain FF7. The FF7 value lies between minus 2048 to 2047. So the program counter value is set to 1. It is a type 3 instruction format. So the E value is set to 0. Therefore, we take the object code as 3B2FF7. Next we have STA total. It's a type 3 instruction format. In type 3 instruction format, the opcode consists of STS most significant pneumatic bits. The N and I values are set to 1 because it is not an immediate addressing mode or an indirect addressing mode. The x value is set to 0 because it is there is no value of comma. To check program counter relative mode addressing mode and base relative addressing mode, we consider displacement. The displacement value obtained is 1776. The value of 1776 in binary format doesn't belong between minus 2048 to 2047. So we consider it as base relative addressing mode. In base relative addressing mode, we again consider displacement. The value of total consists of 178b and in the base it stores the value total again 178b minus 178b is 0 so the displacement value is considered as 0 so the object code is considered as 0f4000 next we have r sub it is a type 3 instruction format but the rc r sub's uh, pneumatic value is 4c the most significant bits are considered in opcode there is no operand value so the nix bp values are taken as 0 and it is a type 3 instruction format, so the E value is 0. As there is no NIX BP values, the displacement is set to 0. So we obtain the object code of 4F0000. Next, we have reserve word. For reserve word, we do not calculate object code. Lastly, we have end. End is an assembly directive, so we do not calculate the object code. But we write the object code as 0000. Here we find out the object program. Object program consists of three main sections, header section, text section and the ending section. Header section consists of six columns for the name of the program, six columns for the starting address and the total length. Next we have text section. Text section starts with T and has six columns for the starting address and we have two columns for the total bytes, total uh, records used in bytes and followed by object code. And lastly we have ending section. Ending section consists of six records, six columns for the starting address. Here, the total length is calculated. It is used in the header section. We have taken sum as the name of the program and we have left the three columns empty. The starting address is 0. And later we have in text section, we have taken 18 here because the total columns provided for the text records is 16. Here we have used 48 columns for object code. One column is equal to 2 bytes. 48 columns is equal to 24 bytes. 24 bytes in hexadecimal is 18. So 18 is taken here. This is the object program.